We're back here at 430 on WFAA News at 4, 431 to be exact. And we're updating that breaking news for you in DeSoto. A tanker truck fire has forced the evacuation of some nearby homes. This is a live picture from our chopper at West Parkerville Road and South Cockrell Hill. We're told that truck is carrying five thousand gallons of fuel. They've been working on this for at least the last 15 minutes, trying to get it under control. That intersection is closed and officials are asking for people who live nearby to evacuate their homes. We're going to give you the perimeter just in case you're watching and wondering what's going on. No doubt if you live nearby, you see that black smoke kind of taking over the sky. This kind of perimeter where they want folks to evacuate includes residents within West Parkerville Road to Summerside Drive to the north, Richard Pittman Drive to the south, Ellerson Road to the east, and Keswick Drive to the west. Again, Jesse, we've been talking about this because you can see the smoke is all pushing in one direction because of those winds out there. You know, so, so I've noticed, you know, when the fire starts to really pick up, obviously when the wind starts to pick up and what you'll notice is the smoke gets more horizontal. When the winds are gusting a little bit higher, they're getting blown more horizontally than rather just rising up. So like right now it's kind of got that, it's rising up a little bit more, but at times you'll see it push farther uh, horizontally. And now they're, you know, that is a, a, a south wind that's pushing the flames and the smoke to the north. I noticed you know, 10 minutes ago or so when we started on this, you know, these tankers will leak fuel and we saw kind of a, a line of fire rolling northbound. Yes. Uh, toward maybe closer to those residential areas. Looks like they've gotten that under control on the roads and now they're just really trying to get this tanker. Uh, there's, you said 5,000 gallons there of fuel. There were 5,000 gallons of fuel on this tanker. We're not sure how the fire started, but you have to imagine, look at those flames, man. They just keep kicking up. Mm -hmm. And the thing that, that I noticed immediately when we first brought you this live image to Jesse's point about 10, 15 minutes ago, the smoke was so thick in that area, you couldn't even see the stop sign. So it's no wonder they wanted to shut that intersection down. Here's a map to give you a little bit better perspective of kind of the perimeter where they want folks to evacuate there in DeSoto from Richard Pittman, north on Ellerson Road, right there, Summerside Drive, Keswick, and then Parkerville Road. They wanna get this nice perimeter around where this tanker is still burning with all that fuel kind of evacuated just to make sure folks there are safe because this could, I mean, at any point, be a situation where it gets further. You see that fire and those flames are starting. Now, this is when we first brought it to you. This is not a live image of right now, but when we were talking about just how much smoke and that fire is just rolling up, the wind, no doubt, is helping to fuel all of that. Yeah, so you see earlier when we, we were saying like 10 minutes ago or so, or 15 now, yeah. uh, you see all the flames, you see on the road there, see how it's kind of spreading to the north? You look yeah. on the left side of all that smoke and, and the, they did get that under control, which is great. Uh, but again, the south winds now, they're about 15 to 20 in the area. So that's kind of, that's pushing it to the north and that's where all that thick black smoke is going into the residential area. So not only right. a fire concern, but obviously you know, an air quality concern for those that live around this uh, fire.